Um, I think I'll just go ahead and do the first one um, just because, eh, why not? So we're going to do number one. And I think I'm going to choose to solve by substitution on this one. And why I'm choosing to solve by substitution is because basically the B in equation one is already, it's all by itself. It's just a B. There's no coefficients with it or anything. Um, so I think that um, once I get that B by itself, by adding and subtracting, then, um, then what will happen is that um, I'll just substitute it in and solve for it that way. Uh, so we're going to do that. That's what I decided to do. I could, I could, however, I could use elimination by multiplying the top equation by negative 3. Also, that would give me, um, I, so I could do it either way. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I think I'll do, uh, number 2 is easier to do by substitution. So let's go ahead and do this one by, um, by elimination. I'm going to change my mind. Whew. So I need to, no matter what, I need to make sure that they're in columns. So I'm going to add 20 to both sides. So here I get 2A plus B equals 20. And then because I'm going to do it by elimination, I need to multiply this by negative 3. Distribute, distribute, distribute. I get negative 6A minus 3B equals negative 60, okay? Please make sure you ask questions if you have any. Um, and then we just add the equations together, right? So 6a minus 6a is 0, and negative 5b minus 3b is negative 8b, and negative 60, ne 12 minus 60 is negative 48, I want to say, and I think that's right. So divide by negative 8, uh, B is going to equal 6, okay? Then I'm going to take one of the equations, it doesn't matter which one, um, and solve, uh, substitute in. So I think that what I'll do is I will substitute in for um, the, I'm going to use the which, which equation I'm going to use? See, I can't even think right now. Um, the first equation. So I'll say 2a plus 6 minus 20 equals 0. So 2a minus 14 equals 0 plus 14. 2a equals 14 divided by 2. a equals 7. And then when I'm writing it in ordered, ordered pair form, um, A comes before B, so that would be 7, 6. Okay. Any questions? And to be honest, you guys, I don't remember, and this is probably pretty bad, I don't actually remember if I put this in your, um, in your notes. I'm sorry. I don't remember, so... Sorry. So then if we do number two here, I'm definitely going to do number two by substitution because it already has an x equal, and not only an x by itself, but it also has an x equals. So I'm going to take this 9 plus 3y and substitute it in wherever there's an x. Okay, and so I get, um, I guess I'm going to come over here, uh, negative 9y equals 31 minus 5 times 9 plus 3y, distribute, distribute, negative 9y equals 31 minus 45 minus 15y. So add 15 to both sides, and I get 6y equals 14. Um, what does 6y equal? Uh, negative 14. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Okay, negative 14. 
Okay. Divide by 6. And y is going to equal negative 7 thirds. Unless I did something wrong. Oh, that's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. And then I'm going to substitute that back in. So I'm going to take this and substitute it back into here and find out what x equals. So I've got x equals 9 plus 3 times y, but y is now negative 7 thirds. Oh, and x equals 9 plus, um, don't think it's going to be plus, I think it's going to be minus. Minus 7, which is 2. So my ordered pair is 2, negative 7 thirds. Questions? Okay. So basically, that's both elimination and substitution. Do you guys want me to do a couple more, or you guys feel like you're comfortable? Tell me in the chat. Oh, here, let me make this bigger so I can see. Don't shut down. Okay. Let's ask a question. A yes or no question. Okay. How many of you want me to do a few more problems? Thumbs up. Okay, everybody feels good? Okay, awesome. So then what you guys are going to do, let me close this. Let me pause here.